Hi everyone, in this video I will tell you what you have to do after attempting any mock test. So what does it mean to analyze a mock test? Okay, so I will tell you like how you can efficiently analyze your mock test. And also a lot of people have this common question that after like solving all the PYQs, revising everything, studying everything, why they are getting very low marks. So I will also discuss this uh, at the end. So let us first see about the analysis of mock test. So when you have attempted a mock test, okay, you have two options. You have to analyze it or you don't have to analyze it. So if you are not analyzing the mock test, then basically you are wasting the whole three hours. Okay. So like the three hours that you have taken to attempt this mock test, you have wasted this three hours if you have not analyzed the mock test. Okay. If you are analyzing it properly, okay. If you are giving some time to analyze that mock test that you have just attempted, then you can see some improvement in your marks. Okay. Not like immediately. It may be like for some time you are getting the marks in same range, but it will improve by time. Okay. So don't waste your time. Okay. If you are attempting a mock test, please analyze it carefully. Okay. So let's just see how you can analyze it. After attempting the mock test, you have some correct set of questions. Okay, so the questions we, uh, which you have attempted correctly. Okay, so in this correct questions, you have other three categories that are like you may be confident in that question. So the question that you got correct, it might be the case like you are confident in that question or otherwise like there is some doubt in that question. Maybe it is like you were confident in all the four options given. Okay. So in that case, you don't have to do anything. If you have any doubt in any of the options, okay, it may be the case uh, in the MSQ type of questions where like you were confident about three options, but uh, there is still one option in which you are having some doubt. Okay. So in that case, you have to check that option. Okay. You have to check the concept behind, behind that question in which you have some doubt okay so even in the correct questions you have to see in which questions you were like completely confident in which questions you were having some doubt okay and also the questions like where you have taken a lot of time okay it might be the case in some questions in the starting like you are spending five to ten minutes in a particular question only so you have to spend three to four minutes in every question okay like more than four minutes you don't have to spend in any of the question okay otherwise like you might not be able to attempt the whole question paper okay so just uh, see in which questions you were confident in which questions you are having some doubt even if you got that answer correct okay see all the four options of that questions okay see where you are having the doubt okay and also like don't waste a lot of time in a particular question only. okay so this is the ideal time that you have to spend in each question that is three to four minutes okay if you are taking more than three to four minutes you have to look at the other approaches to that question okay it might be the case you have spent around 10 minutes in a question okay and you got that question correct okay but your approach was wrong okay it might be the case that uh, your approach was not correct okay with your approach you are taking 10 minutes okay so just see the other approaches how the other peoples are approaching is ask your uh, doubts in the groups that you have okay and ask other peoples how they are going to approach this question in a lesser time okay so this is how you can manage your time okay after that let's just come to unattempted questions so after giving the mock test see which of the questions you didn't attempted okay so there might be the reasons like why you haven't attempted any question you might forgot the concept okay you are not able to recall the concept at that time okay so for that you have to revise the particular concept okay just note down the topic name okay and after analyzing the mock test completely go and revise the topics that you have just noted down okay so the other type of questions could be that you are not able to approach okay you are able to understand the question like you are able to recall the things whatever required in that question but you are not able to approach this question so what you have to do here you have to solve some related questions okay solve related questions or similar type of questions okay about this okay so you have to practice the similar type of questions and also like 
go through the solutions of those questions okay and after going through the solution and practicing some similar questions then after that you will be able to approach the type of question that you are not able to approach in this mock test okay and the next category is like some questions might seem to be very new to you okay after seeing the question like you might think that like what is this concept i haven't seen this concept anywhere okay so if it is the type of question then what you have to do just write note down the topic name okay note down the topic name and after that you have to go and watch some lectures on that topic watch some like you have, you can see some articles on that topic and try to learn that topic okay the topic which was very new to you okay so the next category is incorrect question so the incorrect question that you have got so the question might be incorrect because of a silly mistake because of a conceptual mistake okay so what you have to do here if it was a silly mistake you just note down that mistake okay it's not like that analyzing a mock test means only categorizing the questions like it was a silly mistake it was a conceptual mistake just see like whatever the correct questions whatever the incorrect question whatever the unattempted question and in that if you found some silly mistake then note down that mistake what you have done so a silly mistake could be like you might have selected wrong option okay the other silly mistake could be you haven't uh, read the question carefully okay you might have missed some detail in the question only and like in the nat type of question like it might be asking you for three decimal places but you have answered up to only two decimal places okay so it might be the case the answer was 0.509 and you have answered 0.50 okay so these type of silly mistake like you might be doing in the starting so you have to just note down it and subconsciously when you note down the silly mistake like it is very much possible that you will not do the silly mistake again okay so you just try to reduce these silly mistakes okay and now coming to conceptual mistake if you found that my question uh, like or the solution that i did was incorrect because of a conceptual mistake then what you have to do then go through that concept again okay solve some pyqs on this particular topic that you got wrong okay solve similar type of question and revise it again okay so this conceptual mistake might be happening because of lack of revision okay so you just revise and practice more for these topics okay now another thing could be you might have guessed some question okay and it got incorrect so don't guess the questions okay in case of mcq don't guess because like this will increase your negative marks okay so like if you have guessed some answer okay and it got incorrect then just try to not guess a lot of mcqs in the next mock test okay so you can guess the nat and msq because there is no negative marking in that but in case of mcq just try not to guess any of the uh, like questions in which you are not very confident okay so this is about like how you can categorize the questions and how you can go through every question and what you have to do in every question like if you got the uh, answer incorrect if you have uh, not attempted the question or if you even if you got the correct answer then also you have to check if you are confident in all the four options if you are having some doubt in any of the four options and if it was time taking just see like how much time you have spent in every question okay so don't spend more than 4 minutes in any of the question okay so this is uh, about the mistakes now coming to like how you can reduce the silly mistake so silly mistakes is basically inversely proportional to the number of mock tests you will be attempting okay, if you attempting a lot of mock tests then the silly mistake will automatically reduce okay so just uh, try to give as many mock tests as you can these silly mistakes will automatically reduce okay 
now uh, one common question is why am i getting low marks in early phase of test series despite studying everything following all the pyqs and revising thoroughly so what would be the main reason that you are getting low marks in the early phase of test series so the reasons could be the following you may not have the habit to sit for 3 hours okay and stay focused okay so in the initial uh, phase of test series okay people like are not able to sit for 3 hours with focus okay so that is the first reason that they and they are getting lower marks the next reason could be exam pressure because of exam pressure like initially you are not uh, able to handle that exam pressure there might be some question that you are not able to solve and after that you jump to the next question then that question also you are not able to solve so if this happens then like this creates some pressure and because of this exam pressure you it makes it harder to recall things and you tend to do a lot of silly mistakes okay and the next reason is time management so initially like when you are attempting a mock test in the early phase so you don't know like how to manage the time okay so after analyzing the mock test after analyzing where you spend a lot of time how you can manage that time so all that you will get with by practicing mock test okay so other reason could be yeah this silly mistake only because initially like you don't even realize and you will uh, like do a lot of silly mistakes okay and the next reason is there might be some conceptual gaps that you don't know you might think that i know that concept but after attempting the test you got to know that no i don't know that concept completely okay or it might happen ki tumko galat pata ho concept okay so just uh, see all these things after analyzing the mock test okay and these will uh, improve with time okay all of these things you will you will be able to manage your time you will be able to reduce the silly mistake fill your gaps whatever you have okay and you will be habitual for sitting 3 hours with focus okay so yeah with practice all this gets better okay so the next is uh, some questions in the test seem difficult while attempting the test but after the test i am able to solve them so like if this is happening with you what would be some possible reason is again time pressure lack of practice okay so you just try to remain calm during the test okay so jab bhi tum test dene baitho like give it with a calm mindset okay don't be in rush that i have to complete it the test as soon as possible just remain calm if you are not able to solve some question remain calm go to the next question and see if you are able to solve that and initially what you can do is just go through the easy questions okay don't stuck in the questions that seems hard to you okay solve all the easy question and then revisit the difficult ones with a clear mindset okay and the next is uh, sometimes difficult questions can create self doubt yeah, okay so if you are finding a lot of questions that you are not able to solve you might be having self doubt okay during the test only and this will create pressure okay so what you can do just skip it okay try to solve other questions and after like you have completed the test go through those questions again and see like why you were not able to solve those questions okay and next is lack of familiarity with question patterns so there might be some questions that you find new okay the pattern in that question you may find it new okay and like because of that reason at the point, uh, like when you were attempting the test you were not able to solve that okay so don't worry about them these things will get better with practice okay so yeah like some more tips are like uh, see लाइक किस शिफ्ट में तुम्हारा एग्जाम है इट इज़ इन मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट और इट इज़ इन द आफ्टरनून शिफ्ट तो जिस भी शिफ्ट में एग्जाम है ट्राई टू डू लाइक मॉक टेस्ट तुम उसी शिफ्ट में दो अगर तुम्हारा साढ़े नौ बजे से गेट एग्जाम है तो मॉक टेस्ट भी सुबह साढ़े नौ से ही दो तुम ओके सो दैट लाइक तुम्हारी बॉडी को थोड़ा वो तीन घंटे में फोकस बैठने की आदत हो जाएगी एंड ऑल्सो कमिंग टू लाइक सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन सो इन गेट एग्जाम यू विल गेट अ रफ शीट दैट इज ऑफ लाइक द हाफ ऑफ द साइज ऑफ अ ए फोर साइज शीट तो जो ए फोर साइज की शीट होती है उसको अगर तुम हाफ पार्ट में डिवाइड करोगे तो दैट यू दैट्स वॉट यू गॉट इन द एक्चुअल गेट एग्जाम तो ट्राई टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इन दैट साइज ऑफ पेपर ओनली ओके रफ शीट्स बना लो सेम साइज की ए फोर साइज की शीट को हाफ में डिवाइड करके एंड देन ट्राई टू सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चंस ऑन दैट पेपर ओनली ओके सो 
उतने एरिया में ही रफ वर्क करने का ट्राई करो एंड थोड़ा काम होके मॉक टेस्ट दो जो भी तुम दे रहे हो ओके एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट जब तुम मॉक टेस्ट दे रहे हो तो हर एक मॉक टेस्ट में थोड़ी डिफरेंट चीज़ें ट्राई करो फॉर एग्जांपल लाइक पहले मॉक में ट्राई करो कि पहले टू मार्क्स के क्वेश्चन सॉल्व कर लिए देन वन मार्क के किए एंड उसके बाद नेक्स्ट मॉक में तुम नेक्स्ट वेरिएशन ट्राई कर सकते हो कि पहले वन मार्क के किए देन टू मार्क के किए उसके बाद ऐसे कर सकते हो कि कुछ लोग पहले एप्टीट्यूड करते हैं उसके बाद टेक्निकल पर जाते हैं तो एक मॉक टेस्ट में ये ट्राई कर सकते हो अगले में ये ट्राई कर सकते हो कि पहले टेक्निकल कर लिया उसके बाद एप्टीट्यूड पर किया उसके बाद एप्टीट्यूड किया सो लाइक दैट यू कैन ट्राई अलाउट ऑफ वेरिएशन इन दी मॉक टेस्ट एंड यू विल गेट टू नो लाइक तुम्हें कौन सा सूट कर रहा है ओके तो कुछ लोगों को ये सूट करता है कि एप्टीट्यूड पहले करते हैं उससे थोड़ा कॉन्फिडेंस आता है देन दे जम्प टू टेक्निकल ओके अदर सेट ऑफ पीपल इज वो पहले पूरा टेक्निकल खत्म करते हैं उसके बाद वो एप्टीट्यूड पर जाते हैं तो तुम फाइंड आउट करो लाइक तुम्हारे लिए कौन सा बेस्ट है ओके तो सारे मॉक्स में डिफरेंट डिफरेंट चीज़ें ट्राई करो सो एंड लाइक अपने मार्क्स इम्प्रूव करने का ट्राई करो सो है दिस वॉज इट फ्रॉम माई साइड एंड इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन जस्ट लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सो थैंक यू एवरी वन